What's up YouTube, it's Retro Zapdos here and in this video I'll be giving you a room tour uh, which uh, I'm gonna explain everything I do for my uh, current setup so uh, you guys can uh, do the exact same thing and record basically every console you have at your disposal and also how I make my videos in a bit and uh, showing a, a bunch of stuff that I have in my room so yeah we're gonna switch the camera around Alright guys, as you can see I do have a bunch of stuff already at my disposal, I uh, collected a lot uh, the last few months. So we have uh, Super Nintendo with Donkey Kong Country 2 and the cartridge slot which is one of my favorite games for the SNES. And uh, here we have the uh, Nintendo 64, this is my favorite console of all time with Banjo-Tooie and the cartridge slot. I do play this, uh, this game a lot and also Banjo-Kazooie which I mentioned in my top 10 video of the Nintendo 64 games. This is the Ice Blue version which is uh, one of the later models, uh, I really like it but uh, unfortunately the PAL models cannot be RGB, uh, cannot output RGB which is a shame. All the other consoles do uh, to uh, get the clearest picture as possible for this retro gaming. So uh, then we have uh, Nintendo GameCube and now you're saying wow what the hell is happening to your Nintendo GameCube? Well, we do have a lot of stuff plugged in. We have the wireless controller adapter here, which uh, actually connects to the WaveBird controller, which I got recently. We also, do have uh, two memory cards and the cartridge slots for the uh, yeah save data. And then there's a Game Boy Advance adapter, uh, which allows it to play an, uh, Game Boy Advance games. Yeah, really simple like that. All right, um, we're going to the consoles first. We have, uh, as you see, a Genesis first uh, edition, or actually uh, the. Genesis 1 or, or in uh, Europe it's called the Mega Drive 1 with the uh, Sonic 2 and the cartridge slot, one of the best games in my opinion. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, Nintendo Wii, I do, don't play a lot on the Wii but I do have component cables for the Wii which means I'm playing a lot of GameCube games on the Wii. Uh, the memory cards are in there unfortunately so we have to swap them out but yeah, uh, the Wii is also here. This is all retro besides the Wii but the Wii is in here because it's just so small. It's one of the smallest consoles ever so uh, yeah, some fun facts here. Here is the, uh, the one of the oldest ones. We have the NES or the Nintendo Entertainment System which actually uh, proved to be quite successful after the uh, video game crash of 1983 so Nintendo struck up and uh, with this console they made a name for themselves as you can see we have a lot of Nintendo consoles here five of them and uh, on those two shelves and then we have yeah Sega which uh, yeah hasn't been doing that well but they are now a software publishing company and the days they used to uh, make like a lot of uh, yeah consoles yeah, that aside, we have the PlayStation area. Here we have uh, the uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and then PlayStation 3, all uh, besides each other, and uh, a lot of memory cards here and there. So uh, I do prefer the PlayStation 1 intro, it's uh, so nostalgic. Uh, yeah, moving along, we have uh, Microsoft's attempt on their first console, the Black Box, as it's called the uh, original Xbox, but uh, I, the, the names for the Xboxes I, don't, don't make sense. So the latest model is now Xbox One, even though this is the first Xbox. So yeah, I just call this one the original Xbox. Okay, moving on, we have an Xbox 360 here. Uh, I do have the black version, the elite version, because the other one got the red ring of that, the earlier model that got released in 2005. So uh, yeah, it's been quite the journey for the 360. So this is my second one. We have the Kinex here as well, and then a Samsung television with the uh, motion controller uh, platform on there. Then the, uh, there's also a Naruto, uh, yeah, I think you're gonna call this a flag or something. It's not actually a poster, but yeah, I definitely uh, like this one. Uh, yeah, something neat here uh, on the, the corner of my room, we have this LED bar, which lights up. If I just uh, hang on there, we have the power button of this amazing control. We press it, poof, and then we have a LED wall. We can also uh, have some different colors here. We have blue and uh, yellow if it works yeah yeah but we're just gonna stick with orange since uh, my camera thinks that is the best uh, <laughs> yeah color to film without get losing the focus okay uh, yeah we're just gonna continue with some game stuff here we have the PSP uh, as it calls the PlayStation Portable this is a blue version as you might know blue is my favorite color so uh, that's why I have that one model we also have the tribal edition of the Game Boy Advance uh, let's see what game is plugged in here. Oh, it's Pokemon Pinball, yeah. Yeah, it's also nice to know what games I used to play. Uh, yeah, back in the day, we have this uh, 3DS model here. This is the white one. And then uh, 
for the nostalgic gamers. We have the, the Game Boy Color, which isn't the best shape, but it's my first Game Boy Color I ever owned, so it has a special place in my heart. So, uh, for the games, we have the original, uh, as you can see here, the Nintendo 64 uh, cases. I don't. I only have like three of them, uh, the original ones. The other ones I uh, actually made myself. So let's just, for example, this is a Sonic Advance. Uh, yeah, let's take uh, a custom case. I made a video about that as well in my uh, Nintendo 64 uh, Top 10 video. So these are custom cases to put your uh, cartridges in, and uh, they look really amazing if I say so myself. So uh, just print them on some uh, photo paper, glossy photo paper, and uh, yeah, you're uh, good to go to uh, have a, a VHS uh, custom cover, yeah. Uh, I do have a lot of Nintendo 64 games, as I mentioned, it's my favorite console, so the things to note here, Pokemon Stadium, Legend of Zelda, Mario Party 2, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff here, uh, too, lo too many to uh, mention, so uh, some Game Boy Advance games, uh, complete in box, I do prefer complete in box games. Okay, moving on, we're just gonna open the closet, the closet of games. Here, we continue on, with a lot of stuff here, we have uh, Nintendo 64 games scattered around here. In the closet as well, there's uh, some PlayStation 2 games, actually a bunch of them. And then PlayStation 3 games, don't have uh, that many of them. Uh, of course, Game Boy Color games, Pokemon and Game Boy Advance games all around. Um, yeah, let's see. We also have uh, the Xbox 360 games, and the, reg the, reg uh, the original uh, Xbox games, then some uh, Need access wires or uh, whatever you want to call those. Some uh, random controllers and the Mega Drive adapter for to play Master System games. Some uh, custom cases and uh, other neat shenanigans right there. Okay, that was that closet. We're moving on. We are going with more games here. We have a uh, PlayStation One games. Neat things to mention here in my childhood was Spyro the Dragon. Rayman, uh, Crash Bandicoot series, and uh, I also made custom cases for loose, uh, loose PlayStation One games. It's just a, a CD cover where I just put in and uh, just made a custom cover. 3DS games only have three. We have Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, and then Super Smash Bros. Then a bunch of uh, Genesis games stacked up here. We have Aladdin with the sword. Yeah, the famous uh, Genesis version, which sold a lot of copies. One of the best-selling. Genesis games ever. Uh, as you see, it's Mega Drive since I'm from Europe. I'm actually from Belgium, if you haven't noticed. So we have uh, Pac Mania, Lion King, Sonic 2, and uh, Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> I really, really like that game. And Quackshot. And then some Wii games. Don't have a lot of those. Uh, neat things to mention. Again, Super Smash Bros. and Pokemon games, mainly. Then GameCube. We have a freeloader to, com to play every uh, copy of games. So uh, we have the Resident Evil copy, uh, which is uh, NTC, uh, um, the American version. Then Pokemon XD Coliseum, I'm actually thinking about doing a let's play of those because those are uh, one of my favorite games ever. Sonic is also uh, present here, Star Fox Azult, a really really great game in my opinion. A sealed Pokemon Silver, uh, actually it's uh, the, with the Pokewalker, so the big box right there. We have some more Pokemon games right there, we have Black 2 and um, Black 1, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Attack of the Saiyans, a really great RPG. Then some PSP games, don't have a lot of those since I uh, jailbroken uh, my uh, PSP to play every game so uh, there's no need to buy games. Although I am a fan of playing the original copies but only for retro gaming so uh, the, the newer stuff uh, doesn't really interest me that much. Okay, I think that's all for the games. We also have red and blue uh, standing right there and then uh, there are some uh, boxes. We have the expansion pack iPhone, Elgato Game Capture, and uh, yeah, some other boxes. And uh, neat thing to mention, I do have a, a mixing uh, table, which I'm gonna show later. But first of all, we have uh, around this is some uh, random uh, stuff here. We have some uh, pop figurines. We have uh, Dean from Supernatural, Perfect Cell from Dragon Ball Z, and then Piccolo, yeah, uh, from Dragon Ball Z as well. And then uh, Pac Man and Mickey Mouse, and Dragon and Gohan Super Saiyan 2 is also a figurine. Something great here is actually this trophy, which I won actually by uh, becoming second at Nationals, uh, the 2012 edition from the Pokemon TCG scene. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done that. Okay, uh, now we're gonna show you how I actually connect all this wonderful stuff 
to one television and how I can record. So we have the Elgato Games Capture software right here. And the thing I do actually, first thing I do is turn on my speakers because everything is connected through this speaker. Great, great speaker. It's from Big Ben if you are interested, it's a tower speaker. So uh, the thing I do first is actually connect all the RGB SCARs or the composite uh, to SCARs, everything. We connect it to an, um, a SCART adapter. The SCART adapter actually um, has room actually to uh, divide every SCART and then has one output. That one output goes to the uh, HDMI to SCART converter and the output of that uh, HDMI to SCART converter goes all the way here to slot number A on the HDMI splitter. We have B which is PlayStation 3, we have a, a C which is the Xbox 360 so everything has a purpose here and the output of this splitter goes to the Elgato game capture card which has the footage of everything. So we just push the right button and it appears on the software. As an example we're gonna first turn on the television. Here it comes. We have screen, yes. All right, it says it's HDMI, so uh, we're just gonna, yeah, turn on my favorite console of all time, Banjo Tooie on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the thing we have to do here is actually turn on the uh, HDMI converter since it is uh, connected through a power supply. Turn it on, and uh, by a couple of seconds we do get the image. So. Uh, so yeah, it has have a great quality even though it, this is composite but it hasn't uh, been converted through an upscaler, so the HDMI converter. So uh, the, the image looks really really nice, so yeah, as you can see uh, 720p as mentioned, so a great way to play your old school games. I do prefer getting yourself RGB SCART cable since that is the best quality available. So if we like uh, push the button here, we have other options here, we can also uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that later. First, I'm gonna show you um, on the game capture card. Everything can be recorded through that. This is the way I uh, actually made the Let's Play of Pokemon Snap. Really easy. You can play your games, see them on the screen, and then I just film myself using an iPhone. Yeah, this is uh, simple. Just get a camera, put it on yourself, and uh, start playing games. That's basically it. Okay. So if you don't believe me, we have uh, this HDMI splitter, we click on uh, C and then we just turn on the Xbox, why not? Xbox turns on and uh, this also takes a couple of seconds here. Or maybe it was uh, the B, oh yeah, a couple of seconds, I was right. So we have the Xbox 360 as well, uh, it's really easy, everything is set up like this. So the things you will need to actually... Uh, Create this as an Elgato game capture card and of course the HDMI to SCART converter. I do prefer the Frame Meister, but a regular cheap uh, HDMI to SCART converter can also do the trick for you. Okay, we have the Xbox here and uh, yeah, as you see we can also record that. So every game you see here is, uh, has potential to become a Let's Play, so let me guys know what you guys want to see. Alright, uh, that aside, we're gonna turn off the Xbox so it doesn't get the red ring of that. <laughs> Joke, no. This uh, is a better uh, better version. So another thing to notice here, we have a lot of uh, outputs we can choose here. Uh, yeah, we can choose, uh, for example, the regular... Uh, the, the regular output, yeah. Okay. Bear with me here for a second, so I can show you the regular output, uh, which hasn't been con connected to the uh, HDMI just yet, is the Sega Genesis. Just want to show you how clean the image looks through a SCART cable, so as you see, every pixel is visible on this uh, amazing uh, display. So uh, the Genesis also uses the stereo sound here. So this image quality is just like an emulator, it's so perfect, pitch perfect as you say. So, so yeah, great gaming with this. I'm just gonna turn it off right now, <laughs> otherwise uh, it'll get in the way of me saying a bunch of stuff about my room. Okay, everything uh, has been con can be uh, put on display with the Elgato Game Capture Card. 
And uh, uh, on the wall here we have some uh, neat stuff. It's a, a great picture of me and my girlfriend, the map of places I've visited and uh, a great uh, frame of New York, a painting, a Quicksilver, uh, yeah, <laughs> random frame and uh, yeah, this is actually also uh, from the streets, the busy uh, streets, big city life stuff. Okay, moving on, we have, this is my uh, mixing table, which lights up really sweet. This is what I use to actually uh, make music, I uh, do make music, I am a rapper of course, I, you heard that from my older, older videos. So yeah, uh, after I captured my game footage, what do I do? I mix of course, so uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro as the software. Uh, how do I synchronize is something I do at the beginning. I uh, uh, use uh, like up, down, up, down, and if I see on the screen that it uh, resembles the same thing, then I know it's synchronized. So this is from my latest Let's Play, Pokemon Snap. So I usually just... Uh, make the video through uh, Sony Vega since I'm more familiar with that. You can use a uh, Premiere or whatever you want to use uh, as editing software since the output is uh, M uh, MP4, so which is great. So uh, that's about it and uh, yeah. But the best things of course are on this side of the room, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, I hope it's not too long and you enjoyed the ride. Uh, let me nice guys know what you guys want to see. What, uh, you've seen a lot of my games. I can record everything, so the choice is up to you. What do you want me to play? I'm also thinking about doing a, uh, a Nuzlocke on some Pokemon games, so uh, you guys are uh, interested in that. I've seen some uh, comments about that. So yeah, uh, enough about my rambling, and I'll leave you guys. I hope you have an awesome day or uh, the rest of your week, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like. I always appreciate that and give me the support to make uh, better videos and more quality videos for you guys. Uh, that's about it. Uh, definitely Merry Christmas already for the people that uh, are not watching all the videos. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys maybe in 2016. You'll, see, you'll be seeing a lot more of me and uh, definitely uh, the couple of days I'm going to make new videos. So yeah, that's it. Stay fresh and I'll see you guys later.